Are Jira labels project specific? Let's talk about that in this video. Hey everyone, I have a simple question for everyone. How do you ensure that your dev tickets don't stall if someone is on leave? Resolution has a simple answer. Just install their out of office assistant and make sure that those tickets are automatically reassigned. It's super easy, but for some reason, many people don't know about this app. Make sure you click on the link in the description below for a 20% discount. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. Inside of the wonderful world of Jira, in any project, you can essentially add labels. And all you need to do is open up any issue, doesn't matter the issue type, and as long as the labels field is in your screen, then somewhere on the right hand side, most of the time, like 99% of the time, the labels field is going to be there. And so if you go and create a label, this is my label, and I hit enter, I have now created this label within this KWD project. Now the question is, can other people in other teams or in other Jira projects use this label? Well, let's find out. Keep in mind that we're gonna be using this label and so I'm gonna close out of here and I'm going to go into another Jira project. As you can see here, I'm now in D's demo. I'm gonna click refresh just to make sure that the label has been cached and I'm gonna also open up a just a random story here and I'm gonna to go to the labels field. Now, when I start typing, you can see that this is my label. It's clearly already in that project. And that means that this label can use or can be used in multiple different projects. Now, this might not be what you want. And so I have a couple of tips for you on how to mitigate this risk. So clearly, the labels are not project specific. That means that a label that you create in one project can potentially be used by a different team member unconscious to them in a completely different project. And what this can create is a bit of a conflict because when you go and search on your label, you're expecting, at least subconsciously, you're expecting to only see issues that belong to your specific project. But as you can see, based on the demo that I just gave you, there is a potential for projects to basically collide and have contaminated data. And what I mean by that is, there's a potential for you to be thinking you're the only one using that label, adding a bunch of issues to it, and then a totally different team member and totally different part of the company using that exact same label, again, thinking that they just came up with it, and essentially they're assigning issues to that label as well. And now when you go and do a search on that label, that label is going to return issues not only from your project, but from that other person's project as well. So how do we fix this? Well, again, we have two different recommendations. Are you assigning issues to people on PTO? Without a vacation calendar inside of Jura, your tickets can stall out for weeks. Don't let your Agile delivery stall because somebody's on PTO. Resolution has the perfect solution for Agile teams of all sizes with their out-of-office assistant app for Jura. Fix your current workflows by appointing backup owners and ensure throughput does not stall when team members are away on vacation or holiday. Check out the out of office assistant in the Atlassian marketplace and get a 20% discount with the code in the description below. So recommendation number one is that you want to use a label that is very, very specific. What I like to do is I like to call it like this is my label project X. And when you do that, this label is now pretty unique. I know that it's a little bit annoying because now you have a much more detailed label, but you now significantly reduce the risk that somebody else is also gonna be clever like you and come up with the same clever name. And so the more specific, whether you can add like a component that it belongs to or the project name that it belongs to or just something to make it unique to you and your project, you significantly minimize the risk of some other team using that same label in their project as well. And then the other thing that I want you to be aware of is that even if different people use the same label, you can still do this. So rather than simply clicking on this is my label and depending on the query that's automatically done for you, because as you can see here, we're going to bring back KWD, the one my project, and we're going to bring DD, the other project. So we don't want that, right? But what you could do, what you can and have the option to do, a little bit more annoying because you simply can't click on that label. But the annoying thing that you can do is you can go and project 
equals kwd and so in this way when you click search you will essentially force only the labels that meet that criteria and they're in your specific project only these are the ones that are going to come back and while i know this is not the best solution it's a pretty good solution if you don't want to create these very very specific labels because if you don't want to go down that route if you don't want to have to alter your search then my only other recommendation is that first one which is make sure that you create a very unique label that is potentially probably fingers crossed not going to be used by other team members in different Jira projects because as you can see labels clearly are shareable across different projects within your instance of Jira so you're going to want to be very very careful there otherwise sometimes you might end up with some erroneous and I will put it in air quotes some potential erroneous data that you might just not want. If you've ever assigned debt issues to someone who is on vacation, remember that the out of office assistant for Jira is there for you and it is incredibly easy to set up and use. It has integrations with Slack and Tempo and you can connect to Outlook or Google Calendar using Zapier. So you don't even have to maintain any dates, super easy to use. Try it out today and get 20% off by using the promo code in the description down below. I bet it won't disappoint you. So that's it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you smash the subscribe button. Keep in mind that this video is part of the Summer of Alaskan 2.0 and we're in the final stretch of this summer. So make sure you smash the subscribe button now more than ever. We're still about 1400 subscribers away from hitting our goals. So only you can help us get there by simply smashing that subscribe button. That is totally free for you to do. Also, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, use that comment section down below to let me know. And finally, make sure you do check out the link in the descriptions so that you can find all the different ways that you can support the channel. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need